Hi everyone. In this video I wanted to give you a quick intro or a quick review of volatility which you can use to extract uh, evidence and features from memory captures. So in this case I just downloaded a sample of a machine infected with Crydex uh, from the volatility website. Uh, so on your uh, VM in the tools directory you have a tools uh, volatility which is where the volatility exe uh, resides. So to start we can just get the image info for this memory capture. Uh, pass in the file and then image info. So this should print out potential profiles that we can use. You need to pass in a profile to run some of the other commands, which is what we're getting. So you see suggested profile, so we'll just grab this first one. So if any time you're unsure of, of what to run, you can just run a dash H which will print out all the commands that you can use as well as the flags you can pass in. So we're going to pass in this profile flag for that profile we just captured. Okay. Pass in the file again. And then we'll start by just running a PS list. Okay, so since we know this is Crydex, what Crydex does is it's a banking malware. And so it injects itself into each process that runs so that it can uh, display uh, and capture banking credentials and, and send those off. Um, so in this instance, uh, we could go through these processes. We could we could look at these sockets. If there are any sockets that are open, we could uh, look for some suspicious, suspicious activity. Uh, but we're gonna focus in right now on this reader underscore sl.exe, which is a valid process. It uh, just happens to be uh, infected. So one convenient uh, command you can run is malfind. Malfind, you can actually run to find injected code. So this will find things that aren't registered, DLLs that aren't registered, for example. So we can just pass the malfind command and pass in the process that we're interested in. 1640. So it's found what looks to be like some sort of PE file injected into this, this part of that process, this memory address of that process. So from here, there are you know, several things we can do. Uh, in this instance, I just want to uh, do a memory dump of this process. So rather than dumping just the process, we want to dump all the memory so we can get capture this uh, injected DLL. So I need to specify a dump directory. Let's create a new folder for that. Okay. So you can see it created a, a memory file. So next I just want to run uh, sys internal strings. And we're going to give it a minimum string length of six. And then just output that to a file. So 
that will take a second. Uh, we can go ahead and open it up. Okay, so looking through the strings, uh, we can actually see pretty quickly that we see some suspicious things. So we know it's banking malware. And looking at these uh, strings, these look like a lot of banking websites, which we typically wouldn't expect to be uh, in a standard Adobe process. Uh, scrolling down a little bit further, we can also see Uh, some JavaScript. Uh, so if you look through this a little bit, you'll realize that this is actually uh, code for displaying pages that look like different banking websites uh, in order to capture credentials and then send them off to to the attacker. Okay, so so obviously at this point there are a lot of other things you could you could try to actually extract this. Uh, DLL from the malware, but that's uh, left to an exercise for you. All right. Thanks for watching.